fire control. Basically the radar system that made the F-4B Phantom uh, the formidable weapon that it was. Yeah. Um, I had a good time in the Marine Corps. Uh, I got to join because his honor of giving me information, but that's another story for another day. Um, it, uh, it was good. Um, you know, they, uh, they say that the Marine Corps is a cult, and that's true. There's a brotherhood there that doesn't end when you walk out the, day, the gate in the, the final time. And I'm in a position where I can give back to the community and give back to my fellow brother Marine. And I come from a time when veterans getting out of the service weren't treated nearly as well as they are today. A veteran in the Army, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, and even the Coast Guard, the Navy, when they got out, they were, they were not treated well by society. And a lot of those guys still haven't come home. And part of what we work with and try to help these guys break down those walls they build up in self-defense over all those years. Now, during our, we usually, a lot of times, we intermingle with other branches when that, sometimes when we do our Christmas parties and do everything else. In other words, it's a brotherhood across the board, no matter who it is, in the Marine Corps League, and I know that if there's not like an Army League or the Legion or whatever else, everybody at the end works together after they're out. Absolutely. We run a dance over at the Veterans Hall uh, every month during the summer. All veterans come, so we get the Army, Navy, the Air Force, uh, and of course our Marines. And uh, we're there for the guys. I mean, everybody signed that check. And when I say that check, every everybody that enlisted wrote a check to the people of the United States for a lot up to and including their own lives. And uh, those of us who didn't have to cash that check, uh, uh, I for one am particularly grateful to uh, be in a position to help those guys that you know were less fortunate. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Well. Steve can expound on that later. All right. He's one of our new members. And he's, okay, Steve, introduce yourself. Okay. So again, I'm Steve Kane, and I'm a relatively new member to the league, like, like Glenn just said. Um, it is awesome to see this small group start to grow when we get to leadership. Um, you know, all I can say right now, I'm still learning the ropes of the league. It's, it's interesting. It is neat to be able to serve again in this uh, Thank you. Thank, gentlemen, thank you all for coming out. Uh, do you want to come out and talk more with the Army recruiters? I think the Marine Corps recruiter will be here tomorrow. Come on out. Just look for the uh, Humvee. Now, a lot of you guys join me on my motivational Monday mornings and Friday nights and everything else. nice thing about what the military is, a lot of times we give each other a hard time and give each other flack. The problem is the military cannot function without each other. Okay, so everywhere I've been, I was in 0311, everywhere I've been, I worked with all branches of the service. Doesn't matter who they are. If you ever make fun of the Coast Guard, we do that a lot, but guess what? They guard our ships in other parts of the ocean. Okay, come on out, join everybody out here, come out and say hi, ask questions, send your sons and daughters out. Guess what? The military is open to everybody. And hope everybody has a great day today, and I'll talk to everybody soon. Three, two, one, and three. Hi, guys.